running a buy market order alongside a server side OCO is really easy and intuitive to do with the Infinity AT charts. Let's take a look. I already have the chart area opened uh, and ready to go on a Japanese candle 10 minute chart in the E mini S&P stock index futures market. The trade area is open and closed by clicking on this up and down arrow. You could toggle back and forth to change your view. We're going to keep it open so we could actually place the trade. And to place a market order, as you remember from previous videos, we simply click on the MKT button, opens up a trade ticket. Now, in this case, we're going to do a little work. Remember, blue is buy, red is sell, and it's a market order. So it's going to give you the best available price at the time you send the order. Lot size is the same as contract size, and it's set to one. We're going to keep it at one. You could do multiple contracts depending on your count size. But you know, the, when I opened up the trade ticket, the last traded price was 29.23, and now it's 29, 23 and a half. The stop loss area, I wanna set, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 10 ticks, okay? And this is, again, just for demonstration purposes, so 10 is just the number I'm using for the presentation. And then I'm gonna set a take profit level. I'm also gonna set that at 10 ticks. So what will happen is I'm going to place an order, a limit order in this case, to buy one contract at the market or the best available price. And it will also create a stop loss and a profit target order for us at the same time. So let's take a look. I'm going to click on the buy. We're going to hear the ding. You're going to go to the right hand side and you're going to see position ESMO, E mini S&P, we're long one, plus one or long one. Now, You'll see a couple other things on the chart too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand it so we can see it a little better. Expand it so we can see it a little better. And it's created two more orders. It's created a stop loss 10 ticks below where we bought our contract from. And it's created a profit target 10 ticks above where we bought our contract from. And it's sent to the exchange. You could tell by the solid lines here. It's sent to the exchange. You could tell by the solid lines. And it's sent as a OCO, order cancels order. So if we're fortunate enough for the market to go up and we hit our profit target, we've made 10 ticks, and the stop loss is automatically canceled. You don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. Instructions are held server side for this operation and we'll let the servers do all the work. Alternatively, if the market goes down and we get stopped out, then the profit target will automatically get canceled. We have lost 10 ticks. In either case, our position will be zero and, we'll, and there will be no more working orders sent to the exchange. You can see the open orders on the lower right hand side. It's draggable, positionable, of the trading area on the chart. And you can see that we have an order to sell one at a limit order, which is our profit target at 29.26. And we also have part of that OCO, a stop loss at 29.21. It's really that easy. I hope that helps.